So I'm sure many of you by now know that there is actually weather in space that's a result of magnetic fields interacting. And if you didn't, now you do. These interactions are called magnetic reconnection and even though they occur very high above our planet's surface, they can actually disrupt satellites and telecommunication systems. NASA has measured magnetic reconnection for the first time in an attempt to find out how they can reduce their destructive side effects. So here's how magnetic reconnection works. Sometimes the magnetic fields of Earth and the magnetic fields of the sun connect and they release these crazy bursts of energy. This is what causes the northern lights. The northern lights are amazingly beautiful, but they also also affect our technology, causing malfunctions and connection issues. Magnetic reconnection takes place in the magnetosphere, which is way, way, way up above Earth's surface. Scientists don't know exactly what causes it, but the main theory is that it's generated by liquid iron in the Earth's core. The iron actually creates an electrical current and that makes the magnetic field. There are definitely some benefits to the magnetic field. First of all, it creates a protective barrier that shields us from solar winds. Solar winds are basically streams of exploding bits of our sun that shoot toward us. If solar winds could get through the atmosphere, they could kill life on Earth. Or just give you a really, really, really bad sunburn. So that's all fine and good, but here's the problem. The magnetic fields of the Earth and sun are usually flowing in opposite directions. But every now and again, they flow in the same direction and connect with each other. This is what magnetic reconnection is. This ultimately lets the solar winds get into our atmosphere because there's nothing pushing back at it. So NASA really wants to know more about this, so they started the Magnetospheric Multi-Scale Mission in March of 2015. And they sent some spacecrafts into Earth's atmosphere to study reconnection. These things measure the electrons during reconnection once every 30 milliseconds. This study confirmed some theories about how the particles moved, but it also confirmed that sometimes the particles move unexpectedly. So basically, they can't prevent these storms from happening, but NASA does want to be able to predict these storms so we can be better prepared for them minimizing the effects on our technology. Alright guys, that's all I have for you. Hit us up on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. You can follow me on Instagram at Charlie Chaplin. And if you want to keep watching, there's some more great videos for you right over here.